Field and Streams, The Gun Nuts, presented by Smith & Wesson. Safety, security, protection, and sport. And today on Viewer Mail, I've got a couple questions about chokes and patterns. A lot of you wrote in asking about chokes and patterns, so I thought I'd shoot some and show them to you. Uh, the first question comes from Montucky, who writes, with the plethora of chokes on the shelf for shotguns, and you get points for using plethora in a sentence, absolutely. That's one of the reasons I'm answering this question. Uh, which do I choose for goose hunting? I shoot a 12 gauge, three inch, usually in BB or triple B steel. Are chokes labeled for goose hunting a gimmick and just higher priced versus a modified or full choke? There's a lot of good things about extended chokes or aftermarket chokes. They are extended, you can tighten them easily. You know what constrictions in your gun because it's written on the outside. They tend to be, you know, often they're made better, you know, more concentric and more consistent than, uh, than the chokes that come with your gun. However, before you run out and buy a new choke for your gun, try the ones that came with your gun. Uh, I took my, I have a Beretta 3901, which is not an expensive gun, and it took it out and shot it with a factory modified choke, and like you, I shoot three inch BBs at geese. I made this pattern at 40, at a measured 40 yards, and really, it's not gonna get much better than that. Uh, 63 hits, which is out of about 99 pellets in a, in a BB load, that's a good modified pattern. And, then, and a goose is a big bird, it only takes about 50, 55 pellets in a 30 inch circle to know that you've got a reliable goose killing pattern. This is 63, and there's nowhere in here if you're a goose, I know there's some, some gaps in it, but you're, anytime you use a big shot, there's just, just the pellet count means you're gonna have gaps in the pattern. It's just how patterns are. But there's no place inside this circle that a goose can hide from these pellets, because they're great big birds. So that'll kill a goose at 40 yards every time. You know, at half that distance, it's gonna be a clump and you better wanna shoot it in the head. Otherwise, you're gonna be ruining a lot of meat. So, really, you know, I don't see how I'm gonna improve on that, how spending 80 or $100 on an aftermarket choke is gonna be better than that. Yes, they are better, but a lot of times the factory choke that comes with your gun is gonna be good enough. And in my case, I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, the second question I had was about turkey chokes. Find that. Uh, Scott Gill asks, if I have a full choke 12 gauge, what advantage, if any, is having a turkey choke? Does it really make that much difference? Well, turn this around and I'll show you. Uh, I'm gonna say yeah, it does. Uh, I shot these at 25 yards. This is just a regular full choke in my Browning pump. And it's got, oh, there's close to 100, probably about 80 to 100 pellets in this circle. This is about a 10 inch circle. And that's about what I like to see it at whatever range I wanna kill a turkey. That many pellets. You're gonna put enough hits on the head and neck. This is a dead turkey. I shot this one over here with a Rob Roberts 660 constriction turkey choke. And this load, these are not anything special. These are the old ounce and three quarter, what they used to call high velocity Winchester Supreme uh, five turkey loads, which has always been kind of my standby until some of, the, some of the newer stuff came along. And my turkey is very, very dead. There's no question about that, that he is twice as dead as this one, but you know, obviously, you know, twice as dead as, as dead is still, or half as dead as twice as dead is still dead, if my math is right on that. So, so uh, no, if you're gonna shoot your turkeys at a reasonable range, no, you don't need a, an extra full choke. Now, when you start to get out to the longer ranges, does a turkey choke matter? Absolutely. Uh, I shot these at 40 yards, and again, this is, uh, this is with those same Winchester ounce and three quarter fives. Frankly, I was surprised they didn't do as, uh, I guess I'm spoiled. I've been shooting a lot of long beard, a lot of turkey, uh, a lot of tungsten. And th you know, these did okay. But this is about, this is the regular full choke. And I think there's 40 holes in this. And I would not, yeah, there's, there's holes in the head and neck and brain and everything. But there's also a lot of places in that circle that a turkey could put his head and hide. Uh, and, and the pellets would miss. So I would not be comfortable with a pellet count like that taking a longer shot at a turkey. Now, with the turkey choke, this is about 90 pellets, so I've got more than twice as many in the circle. This turkey is dead, I would not be afraid to take that shot, I would kill this turkey 10 times out of 10. So, you need a turkey choke for turkeys? The answer is, if you wanna shoot them at 40 yards or some of the ammunition that we have now, more than 40 yards, absolutely you do. Okay, well that's, uh, 
Two of your choke questions answered. Thank you very much for writing. Keep them coming.